Welcome back, everybody, and I have a special announcement to make is regarding hrseeds.com, the website where I sell my seeds. Uh, we ha we're having some issues with our host right now, and we're not sure how we're going to deal with it, but nevertheless, basically, the website is, is completely down. It, you might be able to get access to it still. We can't get access to it from our, our IP addresses. It appears that the host itself, which is Wix.com, it appears that they decided to throttle our content down for some reason. They didn't ban our IP address, but they're throttling something. They're doing something really unscrupulous. I've already had a couple of IT guys down here to already examine the situation just to make sure that it's not my network or my infrastructure from, from where we're stationed outwards uh, through our IPS it apparently has nothing to do with us this problem seems to be an internal problem with uh, with Wix so unfortunately we had chosen at the time to build our website using Wix's um, uh, they have like the pre templates and we, we weren't sure what direction you know to go when we were first building a website for HR seeds and so we went with Wix because we thought it would look better. I liked the look a little better. It was a little easier to work with their templates and everything. But it was a very bad choice to choose a Mickey Mouse type of host uh, to run an e-commerce site out of. We should have just, I should have sp spent the money, paid somebody to help me uh, build a, you know, a server, an offline server, and just run my website through my own server. And the main reason why I tell you this now, for anybody who might be considering building websites, don't ever try to do a professional website of any kind. If you're going to build like two page website or something, yeah, then you could use like Wix or Weebly or something like that. They're, they're, guys, their Mickey Mouse websites, don't ever waste your professional time doing that. Your best bet is to, um, you know, just build it through like FTP. You know, when you're building a website, you can build it off your computer. You can run it directly out of your computer. Or you can just buy a server and just have that on 24 hours. If you're going to do a professional website or something like that, that would be my recommendation. Because there's no way that your host could ever throttle your content down for whatever reason they decided to throttle it down. So anyway, I'm not trying to, I don't want to digress. What, I, what I'm trying to let you guys know or other people watching this or wondering what's going on with, uh, with, with, my, with hrc's.com as far as us not accepting payments anymore, it's, we're just, we lost like 95% of our traffic, basically. We're not visible really on the internet anymore. You'll, get, you'll be visible if you do a direct link click, but outside of that, it's not searchable. My, it's, I've been completely shadow banned from uh, Google, and, and now uh, I believe Wix is uh, the one that actually helped perpetrate the DDoS attack. I'm saying that with almost a 90% certainty. However, um, we need to keep moving our business forward. So unfortunately, there's going to be some downtime. And we're probably, you know, only going to be for now, for like the next year until we can actually build another website, going to just be offering our products either on eBay or Amazon or Etsy or uh, one of those. We'll probably just stick with eBay for now because it's it just once you start opening up too many stores with the other, with these other sites like Shopify and Amazon and e e once you what happens is you it's really hard to gauge your inventory and so one site might sell ten orders this one might sell two this one sells thirty next thing you know you only have enough to fill maybe forty orders complete. And now you can't fill all your orders, and you got to start canceling orders. So it's you got to watch, be really careful how you spread your side. That's why we don't. That's why we're not on wasting our time on Etsy and uh, Bonanza and and Amazon and, and Shopify. We're just going to try to keep it on eBay for now. I guess we'll put all the products up on there, and uh, you could go there and purchase your seeds there. It'll basically be the same pricing. Um, uh, it might be a little bit less uh, of the quantity uh, wise, but it'll work out with the shipping. I got to I, I got to I got to be really careful about how I set up shipping. See, we do flat rate shipping directly from the website for a certain cost. On eBay, it, it's a little bit different. It's not. It's it, it, things got to change a little bit. But in general, in the end product that you buy, it'll generally be the same thing it'll work out basically the same way i just have to kind of 
fluctuated a little bit, so it works with the shipping prices and everything. So we're going to stay with probably eBay for now until we can build another website. It's going to take some time for us to build a website. It's over 800 pages. We got probably somewhere around 1,200 products. We got to be really careful who we invest our time into this time. We're not going to use any more Mickey Mouse type of um, you know web hosting, thinking that you can actually run a business out of these hosts. Uh, that's a very serious learning lesson. Pretty much costs us almost our business technically. Um, simply because the host has said that today, hey, you got too many pages, we just throttle you down out of existence. So, I mean, that's what we're up against here. My recommendation is if you do plan on doing any kind of commerce of any kind, stay as far away from those free websites. I mean, you could use them for like traffic diverters and traffic drivers, to f but don't ever pay for a service for them because they're only going to rip you off in the end. That's my experience right now we're, we're not happy about this guys we're pretty distraught about this and uh, we have a lot of new products also as well I, I should mention this now we also have about 90 more new products coming online this year some of them or some of the products we're going to be offering are going to be extremely rare um, maybe most of you have never even heard of it but I, I, yeah, I, I don't know what to do I mean I can't I, I can't add it to this website I, I don't know I may just offer it on Amazon, but how you're going to be like, well, how are we going to know, you know, um, we're, what products are new? It's, you know, we're, we're asking the same questions. We don't know how we're going to do it. But we got a lot of good stuff coming in. In fact, I have um, several very, very rare varieties of peppers coming in um, that hopefully we can get them growing this year. We can do videos on them. And uh, we'll be able to offer them a little bit later this year. But, uh, again, it'll probably be on eBay for now, unless unless Wix decides to fix the uh, the problem with this uh, you know this 5xx server error, uh, which I don't think they're going to this time. I think this time they they give it to me good. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna move forward and we're gonna do it without Wix. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.